I, I am the Deborah side. So the formalized argument goes such as this. So if premise one, if Goku states that Deborah is as strong as Super Perfect Cell, but later states Deborah is stronger than he thought, then Goku has stated Deborah as stronger than Super Perfect Cell. Now the that if we're translating it into a nomenclature would just be P N Q implies R. Uh, premise two would be if Goku has stated Deborah is stronger than Super Perfect Cell, then Deborah is stronger than Super Perfect Cell. That's just R implies S. Premise three, Goku states that Deborah is as strong as Super Perfect Cell, but then later states Deborah is stronger than he thought. That's just P and Q. Conclusion: mm -hmm. Therefore, Deborah is as strong is stronger than Super Perfect Cell. That's just S. Uh, therefore, S. So. Do you think there's anything wrong with the structure? Do you think it's like valid but not sound? Like I am in no of... way a fucking uh credible in telling you if that was sorry or not. That sounds tight to me. That sounds fine to me. I don't see any problems with it. Legend, could you type that out in general just so it's like easier for you know basically like where we're going off of is I'll Goku makes a statement wait, in wait, regards wait. of like Deborah's strength. Uh, right. I, I make that premise up because Unless you think Goku is delusional or, or is engaging in some sort of like motivated reasoning, could you spell out that case? Okay. So let me make sure I remember this. So Deborah makes a comment that, I mean, not Deborah, Goku makes a comment that Deborah is like as strong as so. And then later on, he says he's stronger than he thought, which would right. have to infer that Deborah is above so. Mm -hmm. Okay. It would be logically um, impossible to assume otherwise. Okay. I understand what you're coming from. Uh, in regards of like Goku noting about Deborah like being stronger than he thought, was that only a reference to his magic? So the thing in Dragon Ball, in order to you know, when it comes to magic, or I'm sure I'm pretty sure you know who Kami is, right? Uh yeah, green. Nigga. So Kami has to uh, access his greater amounts of key in order to, in order to use his magic uh, effectively, i.e., uh, Shenron's like uh, limit to like certain wishes. It, the the magic is only like uh the threshold is um the creator of the dragon balls is only as is as powerful as the dragon's magic does that make sense in order yeah for i'm aware of that okay that. that's cool i fucks with that yeah <laughs> yeah okay so what about like in cases like bobbity where he shows like greater magical abilities than say like what he can normally do without magic like when he does the barrier to black booze explosion attack mm-hmm well, so like, why would Deborah correlate to Kami in that instance? I guess would be what I'm asking. Oh no, no, it was an analogy. I'm not saying that they're completely correlative in that aspect. It's just analogous, not comparative. Mm. Okay, got you. Yeah. So just yeah, basically, clarity, my like, like, yeah, yeah, I got you. Thank you. Uh, basically, my only contention would just be that in regards to when Deborah is noted as stronger, it's only presented when Goku notes about his magic, which I would well, consider more of like a hacks based on how magic is presented within Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I'll, I'll get you this game and I'll I'll break it down. So got you, please. I'm trying to get hit to this. <laughs> no, no problem, man. Let me see if I can get it for you. I got it like a fucking library full of this shit. That Kami argument is fucking tight. I wouldn't even have thought of that before. That's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. No problem, dude. So um, I'm gonna see if I can get you like the most clear one. I'll, I'll be honest. I have like some pretty blurry ones. So please bear with me. It's cool, bro. I trust you. Okay. <clears throat> So you said you were going to debate Hybris, is that right? Yeah, we were supposed to like debate on this topic, but I've been like fucking busy with. Oh, you're talking life. about my student Hybris D balls? Hi, Damn, bro. Ask him about it. All right. So, um, I've never seen a debate it. Dragon Ball before, BB. I hope his rhetoric. All right. Um, mm. I'm gonna post into VC scans. It should be loading up any moment now. My phone's a little bit. Slower than usual. Don't know why though. No, nah, that's cool, bro. I got like eighty viruses on my phone, so I ain't gonna talk no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask from what. Don't ask from what. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> All right. wide open. It should be loading up at any moment. Okay. There we go. Got you. You see how that? So um, there's a space in between. So he says. So he uses magic. It's just an observation. And then underneath that speech bubble, he's stronger than I thought, which would imply there's a pause. It's a, you know, they're two separate sentences. Mm, okay. Would it be like more in a case of like, I know, uh, said bitch has red hair. And then <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that bitch is like her booty fat. Like it would still be talking about like 
it would connect to me speaking about this individual, right? I've terribly okay. phrased that wrong. But basically no, what I'm trying to say you're... is that, yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that, like, the sentences can have, like, a gap between them. But Goku could just be taking, like, a reasonable pause within, like, his thought and saying, like, oh, okay, he has magic. He's a lot stronger than I thought. Like, the magic would be what is making Goku note this strength. Because realistically, like, he's fighting Go Go Goku, Gohan on, like, a relative level, you know? Okay, it's so... not like Gohan getting bootied on. Well, I'll sh I'll tell you why it's the case that he's getting booted on, as you as you put it. So, um, <laughs> so you're I'm I'm sure you've read the whole chapter, right? Yeah, I'm aware. So, so you aware you're aware that um, in the back of Gohan's mind, basically, in order to basically, uh, what's his name? Shin tells you know Gohan and the others to truly get rid of like the you know the petrification state of Krillin and Piccolo, that they have to kill Deborah. Or um or use the Dragon Balls to you know return them to them their natural state. So, um, Gohan has at the back of his head the thought of I need to kill you know Devora. He's got my you know my master and my friend like you know in this in this yeah. state. So, um, in his Super Saiyan state, we see that he's you know losing power as he's you know getting fatigued. It took him it, mm -hmm. you know basically made him uh exert himself to the point where he's like uh, huffing and puffing when he broke the sword. And we see that uh Deborah. And that same panel is like kind of just looking at, uh, you know, Gohan's efforts and is like, okay, are you done panting? Are you done? Kind of <laughs> casually. Yeah. So where does that in any way tell you that Deborah was strong going? If anything, it's clearly implying that, you know, Deborah is biding his time. Deborah knows mm. that the Z fighters can get stronger, so he has to conserve his energy because eventually he's going to probably have to fight Goku and Vegeta. I'm not saying he can take them on. I'm just saying he thinks that he can. So, um, He's gonna have to like conserve his energy to like you know use it wisely and to eventually fight the, fight those two. Oh, okay. So basically, like what you're telling me is Gohan is showing like from reactions and just how the fight's going. Gohan's definitely the one struggling in the battle, while Deboer is mm -hmm. more so like chilling and relaxing and shit. He's yeah. not so much having like difficulties. Right. Oh, okay. Like with this not going to like remotely. when Deboer. Okay, so like with this going to like when Deboer notes that um he can like whoop up Gohan. Yeah, and when he's uh, talking to Bobby. Yeah, yeah, Bobby's like, you think you could take on this little snot? And uh, later we do see that uh, Deborah goes on to confirm, yeah, of course I fought him earlier. He's not really anything to me. Even mm, at, okay. you know, even in the Super Saiyan two state, which uh, Dizenshu seven clearly um, illustrates and confirms that it is the case that he's in Super Saiyan two state. Okay. And, uh, right. and that Dizenshu seven. Uh, character entry for Deborah is referring to a uh, Deborah who's clearly like suppressed and it's not until he starts using a little bit more of his power is when he uh you know surpasses that said Gohan and then surpasses that said cell mm, okay uh, like DC scans for you okay yeah that was exactly <laughs> that is so crazy that's exactly what I was gonna post to yeah man so this would be like speaking on a suppressed one and based yeah, off what again basically so just like I'm getting from I'm sorry you cut out that last moment. What'd you say? Oh, my fault. I was asking, like, so what um, what did you say to speak on, like, him being suppressed so I can understand that? So take a look how he approaches the fight. He's very casual about it. He's very, um, very laid back. In no way do we see him, like, a, you know, uh, with a gr – I mean, I will say this. Um, uh, all right, so I'm going to see if I can gather my thoughts. So as the fight starts, we know that he's suppressed. He's mm -hmm. clearly being dominant. He's clearly, you know, um, progressing the fight in his in his favor. It's not until um, super uh, what's his name Gohan goes into the Super Saiyan two state, and um, and then yeah, as soon as Goku makes that note of oh, you know, he uses magic pause, and then he says he's tougher than I thought. So that's just Goku underestimating Deborah's capability. In his power. Hello, did I cut out? Oh no, I'm listening to you. I was just like being immersed in your words because you have a beautiful oh, thank you. voice. Yeah, I'm flattered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, why would like Gohan's tiredness not just be from his rustiness from like uh combat and such? You're asking, it, like, okay, um, to give an example, um, if you haven't like worked out in a bit, right, and then you okay. get back into it. You can still accomplish the same levels of like strength that you could do prior, but it's more so just that 
your body's kind of a lazy fuck and it's like shit this isn't it's not like literally as hard but your body's just so not used to this level of effort anymore that it's kind of like it's tired right but not so much so that you're actually like losing stats or anything like that and we know like throughout this arc it's like point out multiple times that gohan's like fucking rusty especially about vegeta you just bullying him in a bite well well the thing about that is um there is actually an el manga uh, el manga legendario thing and it goes on to say that it's gohan's fighting ability because uh this guide will back up what it is that i'm saying it's saying that uh, that is gohan cool did... as fuck <laughs> yeah gohan didn't lose any sort of like strength relatively mm, what would you inf- like would you say that it's more so just like the anger boost well, that, um, that's like anger. more noted. It's more. It's more so when they're talking about him as a kid. He got that ang- that rage boost. He doesn't have that. Not only that. Yeah, that's what like, I'm talking about. More so like the that, rage boost. Not only that, but his fighting abilities have gone down. You know, the seven year years of peace should be more than indicative of that. Mm, okay. Oh, that is cool as fuck. Okay, I'm messing with all of these arguments. Let me see if I have anything else in my head that I could bring up. Hmm. Let me see. Let but me just you admit, this. but you admit the formalized argument that I presented is valid and sound. Would you or do you agree or disagree? Mm, no, it's definitely sound. Like literally, when you explain, you explained it perfectly to me. Mm-hmm. Like I'm loving this. I'm like you really are. Uh, I appreciate you for like getting me hip to this. Good debate. Let me see boy. if I have any... Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> Y'all giving me too much credit, bro. He's fucking doing great. Okay, would you say, like, Gohan uh, reacting to, like, the stone spit would be some sign of him being able to be, like, relative to Deborah? Since, like, the no. stone spit would indicate that, like, Deborah's trying to end the fight? Mm, not quite. So, reason being is because he's trying to stall for time. Remember, the whole purpose of him fighting the Z Fighters is to resurrect Bobbity. Oh, yeah, for sure. What I'm, I'm saying Bobbity, is just that, like, this, what did, like, the stone spit kind of make that counterproductive? Because realistically, say if, you know, Gohan just got fucked by it, he just one tapped Gohan. Well, it's even noted that um, Deborah's playing around intentionally so he can gather energy for Majin Buu, the Kiri energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's more so. But when that action, like, in itself? So? Oh, it's okay. So, so he's like, Gohan. Oh, okay. So he's like restraining his, like, stone spit to, like, a certain extent. So Gohan, even, like, at bare minimum could react to it just to see where he's at so as gohan gets stronger deborah lets out more and more power is basically what you're telling me like that would be like the narrative argument um sort of so the thing with that is um gohan's progressively getting weaker in that super saiyan 2 state meanwhile Mm -hmm. deborah is showing no signs of strain no signs of uh fatigue he's very much chilled and relaxed like um he's more so in a uh like i wouldn't say a trans a trance because you know that would imply a whole other things, but he yeah, very, I get what you mean. He's very much like a, he's very comfortable. He's, he's in his own environment. He's you know he feels at home, so he's not you know even remotely scared. Mm, okay, so due to this, like the board was scale above super perky cell due to Gohan state. I mean, not due to Gohan, due to Goku's statement, right? Mm-hmm. And say yeah. like if I was to try to argue a bit harder that it's more just inclined of his magic. Because, like, he could be stronger than this version of Gohan, but this version of Gohan wouldn't be the same equivalent as his Super Saiyan 2 teen self, right? So what would be, like, your contentious for that? So um, so the thing about that is um, this this Gohan would be stronger in base if we were compared to, like, his Cell Games counterpart. The only reason why he's re- weaker is because he doesn't have that anger boost. With the anger boost, he would be a lot stronger, as noted with Goku, before he goes to fight uh, Majin Vegeta. Yeah, I recall. So what lets us know that he's stronger in base, right? Well, his training for the World Tenkaichi Budokai, remember when Goku was coming back? He wanted to prepare and, mm-hmm. you know, participate. Obviously, if you train, you should logically get stronger. Hey, give me one second. I got you. That's an excellent point. Stay happy. Mm-hmm. I've written a whole paragraph. <laughs> oh, damn. So, so, BB, you judge him? Yeah. Wow. Bro, nice. this debate. I like this debate. It's pretty good. I'm loving yeah, this I think debate this too. It's going good. And I joined. <laughs> Despite me getting slammed, this is like very fun because I'm learning a lot of shit. So, um, repeat what you were saying one more time. I got like ADHD in my mind wanders just so I can like <laughs> remember what I was going to say. <laughs> which, uh, which part in particular? Uh, just the very last part. 
about the world t- uh, world Budokai? Oh yeah, about like the training would happen for he got stronger base. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. So mm-hmm. in regards to that, right, I can like do push-ups for a couple of days or some shit like that, and it doesn't like inherently mean that I became stronger. Well, I- I'm glad that you brought that up. I I'm not having any contentions with that. The thing about that is, um, let's see if I can get the scan for you. Yeah, because I was gonna like give an example of like uh, you know, like muscle memory within like fitness and shit. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so like basically, uh, you can have a certain level that you was at, not work out for a while, start to work out again, get into the groove of it, and you acclimate like that level of strength back again. And mm-hmm. I would say like to more like substantiate what I'm saying, it could just be more so that Gohan is going back to this original level, like this height of power he was at. So it's like throughout the entire Blue Saga, it's kind of showcasing, ignoring like Ultimate Gohan, of course, that like Gohan has failed from grace. You know, he used to be like this fucking goat, and now he's this nigga in this weird ass superhero costume doing Ginyu poses. Well, that's just more so referring to like his fighting, like uh, his fighting style and then, you know, capability. It's not his power because, you know, that guy that I posted says the contrary. It's just his power stayed the same. Yeah, I know, but, like, why would, like, one guy contradict, like, multiple, like, for example, Vegeta makes comments on it, and Goku makes, like, I think two. Yeah, I think he only makes two or three. I don't well, recall how many. Well, I think I yeah, like, them. let's see if I can, um, I'm gonna see if I can get you the rest here. Because I, I say this because they all make references to his, um, to his fighting ability, like, uh, you know, his fighting capability. It's not the power. That's clearly not the case. Like, what do you think would go in line with, like, capability, right? Like, would power not be part of, like, your fighting capabilities? Uh, Not really, because if that were the case, then Majin Buu, like, Fat Buu would be, like, you know, should be, like, a better martial artist if that's the case. You'd have to bite that bullet. If he's, you know, if he's logically stronger, he'd have to be, like, you know, better than Gohan. I mean, I'm Well, I'm not saying than... so much so, like, it's, um, it's, like, an instant. If you're stronger, you're a better fighter. That's not, like, what I'm saying with that. I'm just saying that fighting capabilities doesn't push away the like idea that it can also infer power to if they're saying like gohan's weaker in fighting capabilities why would it not have some inclination to also speaking of his power he lost due to like not training and shit well i'll show you these one second sir i got you take your time man so here we go gonna get one more All right, there we are. I just needed these two last ones. Got you. So, um, you see that last one? Su habilidad para luchar se ha oxidado. You know what that means? <laughs> bro, you almost got me pregnant speaking like that, dog. <laughs> you know Spanish, okay. bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I can fact check people when they say stupid shit. When they say, uh, UML. That is cool as fuck. Okay, but continue what you were saying. I have so, no clue what that means also, so like, run it down for me. Like, Dora the Explorer. The ability to fight, uh, so the question is, the ability to fight has has became uh, oxidated, and, and when, I, when they say oxidated, uh, the linguistics there kind of tell me uh, it's referring to, like, uh, rusty being the word. So yeah. um, so I'll, I'll read you that whole, um, you see that first paragraph right there on the far left corner? Mm-hmm. So basically, um, <clears throat> pardon me. So... Um, Basically, it goes on to say, uh, Gohan as a kid, he's been, um, well, Gohan as a kid fought with Cell with like a, a far superior power than his father. And then, um, and then it later goes on to say, like, uh, let's see, uh, his level of fighting has uh, gone down a little bit, a little by little. And, um, compared to Goku and Vegeta, who have continued to, you know, be training, uh, mm-hmm. his, his uh what's gonna call it his strength had been um surpassed or like uh overshadowed as what it means by uh when it says in una sombra this de la de la que era that means basically like that is uh, so cool yeah basically more and more confirmation to show that you know um that his level of fighting 
not his fighting power, but his uh, capability when it comes to fighting had you know diminished significantly during the seven year years of peace. Mm. And, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, you could finish. Oh no, no. All I was gonna say was like, uh, you see where the manga panels are of like Vegeta and all that are. Mm-hmm. That is so cool. Like, <laughs> fucking that's. Uh, but yeah, I see. It. So, um, it says right here in el compante entre Gohan y Dabura, Goku y Vegeta no pueden ocultar su decepción. So, um, it basically goes on to say that um that Goku, wait, wait, let's see here, that Goku and Vegeta can't really um they can't they really support nervous. Gohan in the, in regards to like uh his fighting it's... ability being up there along with his strength. Because, you know, mm-hmm. they're two separate things. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fair, fair, fair. I think that's uh, what, what else? Than, I think that's more than I got you. Uh, you know. Um, yeah, I got you. Let me make this a bit entertaining. Though. Let me let me let me go to this final point, right? I can't leave it off without giving okay. it everything. Even though I like literally though, this is the coolest and most like understanding argument that I've heard in regards to this. So this is like already a dub no matter how, what. But um in regards of like Goku's statement, right? Wouldn't it be an unquantifiable amount? Of determining if like if Deborah is probably as strong as Cell prior to like him seeing Deborah in combat and then he notes okay he's stronger than I originally thought why wouldn't that put him in a relative range of Deborah rather than being over him so <clears throat> all right so this question is going to vary very wildly are are you referring to like the manga or the uh the anime because my, uh, my I'm gonna... s- which, which one are you going off of I don't want to like I I'm speaking on a manga one. Yeah, I'm manga? speaking like on a manga so, for this one. If if Goku's gonna say that, this is obviously us, uh, you know, an opponent that he's he knows the capabilities of. He knows that uh, he can sense like the the depths of someone's uh, powers and capabilities far greater than like Vegeta or Go or uh, Piccolo. So um, we know that Cell is you know capable of like the special being canon the Cell Juniors. Um, he wouldn't have made that comment if he knew what Cell's capabilities are, and then he went on a sense Deborah's like less suppressed state. So. I would say Goku is like a pretty reliable source. Like, I don't see why he would engage in some sort of like lie to like you know make his son look cool. Go on, Goku. Well, I wouldn't one. say I wouldn't say it's like a lie, right? I, I would say like Goku's more um he he can be a bit off when it comes to certain statements. Like, uh, you remember I can like find it too where he was like talking. He was about to fight Kid Buu, and he's like, okay, well I think we can handle this. Or he's like speaking in a way that infers that he feels like he can beat Buu by himself because he wasn't even gonna like let Vegeta fight. Yeah, it's more so like uh, underestimating him. In the same case, this was also underestimation. Yeah, I would say like um, for the point that I just gave, it would be more showing that Goku can make statements and be comparing his power to someone else. Because as you said, Goku can make a measure of someone's capabilities and he can be wrong. He's not like 100% correct. And that like, you know, that ability to be wrong could infer that he his statement wouldn't be just instantly saying, okay, he's like 100% stronger than so. Of course. So, um, I think uh, I think the language that I employed was a a little bit off. I'll be I'll be honest with you. So uh, no, it's cool. I you meant, could rephrase it. Yeah, all I meant to say was like, um, I'm not saying that Goku's infallible. I'm not saying that. Hopefully, I didn't give you that impression. I'm just saying he's the the most reliable if it comes to like statements and all that regarding power and you know comparing characters and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So I would just take him to be like a you know the source if it comes to like you know making a statements or like uh declarative sentences about someone's strength or comparative strengths for example Mm -hmm. yeah um basically what i'm like overall saying right not to like make this going for too long is that Mm -hmm. due to goku being a person that can be wrong and he has shown situations where he makes comments in regards of where he stands to someone else and he's pretty wrong on it for example, like Kid Boo, he's like, okay, well, I can I can handle this nigga. He's not gonna do shit. And then he like right. completely fucking like ignored his uh how Super Saiyan 3 would act in, you know, the living world or how Kid Boo would have this regeneration that he wouldn't be able to be able to exactly counter. And um just you know, shit like that to say, like, okay, well, he's making a statement about Deborah, and we know like for the Boo saga in terms of what it's showing us for Gohan is this fall from grace. I believe that it could work just as well of showing us that. Deborah is at this level that Team Gohan could have handled, right? Whereas, like, this adult can't. Just to let us know as the audience, Gohan has really failed the fuck off. Like, he is not the same nigga y'all remember in the cell arc. He, he's not that guy anymore, you know? 
And mm-hmm. I believe it works for like what Gohan's development leads up to going into Super. He's not a fighter. He's not someone that enjoys it for real. He's someone that would rather hang out with his family or do other shit or just, you know, be human. He, he's not just as saying. And I believe like Deborah doesn't have to be stronger than so to illustrate this like narrative uh, showing for Gohan as a character. Oh, I don't want to interrupt that makes sense. you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I I'm done. Asked. Okay. Yeah, I just You're don't so respectful, bro. Oh, my God. No problem, dude. <laughs> like, if, if people are civil with me, I don't see why I can't be civil back. So, um, I'm a catch feeling. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, there's a lot to unpack with what was said. So, um, the thing about, uh, well, I'll, I'll address like the most obvious. Like, um, if you, if in regards to like the Deborah versus Cell thing, uh, would you agree that, um, do you agree that feats are over than statements? Uh, I would say like it depends. You know what I mean? Like a statement well, from a credible source that isn't contradicted in any way, I would trust more than like a feat. Oh, no. Do you think feats are, are greater than statements? Do you think they're... Mm, I, yeah. think it, I think it depends. I'm not trying to say it to be ratty or anything. That's like how I genuinely feel in regards of it. I think it depends. Because sometimes um, um, a feat could be presented and a statement can clarify why that feat even happened and why said character maybe got his ass whooped. You know what I mean? Like sometimes a statement can add greater clarification and an understanding of the scenario that can then help the feat be better understood and where it scales a character. Well, I was gonna say, um, if you if you bit the bullet and said feats are greater than statements, because you you would have to bite the bullet and concede the fact that Frieza is stronger than Cell in virtue. Yeah, you would have fucked me. You would have. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, but um. Feats are meant to be used in conjunction with statements. So, um, if anything, it's just helping the case that Deborah, you know, is above Super Perfect Cell. It would be logically impossible to, you know, assume and think otherwise. Repeat that last part one more time, so I understand. I don't oh, want to miss did I you. Talk? Oh no, my fucking! I'm telling you, my mind just blanks out sometimes. Repeat that last part, just like the very last part about the feats being like a- yeah. Oh, okay, so all right, so I'll, I'll say it one more time. Um, uh, if you were to bite the bullet and say that feats are greater than statements, you would have to bite the bullet and like concede to the fact that Frieza is stronger than Cell in virtue of that, because you know all Cell has is feats. I mean, not feats, statements rather. Um, because the way the way um feats and statements are supposed to work is that they're supposed to be used in conjunction with each other. So with that. I say overall, I think Deborah logically we have to be stronger than Cell, because you know as the whole series progresses in Z, the you know the the villain throughout each arc gets progressively stronger than the last. Mm, okay, okay. Can I speak on that? Yeah, of course. Okay, so like in regards of like the narrative of Dragon Ball being basically Goku finding stronger and stronger niggas, I would say that's more in vain of like the final baddie. You know what I mean? Like Frieza, uh, Vegeta, uh, fucking Boo. You know what I mean? Like the dudes who are actually gonna push this story forward for real. Not so much the henchmen, not like the fodder niggas, because then that would be basically saying like, for example, in Dragon Ball Super, Frieza's henchmen, just because they're in Super, it's not at this level where they're just mm-hmm. way above all the other niggas. You know, they're not like uh, Zarbon level, just like the random niggas there or like well, uh, fucking, what was that little fucking spiky bitch? The Doria? The Doria? <laughs> what about him? Yeah. Yeah. So like, they're, you know, um, characters, Dragon Ball can go through with the story and they're focused on upping the strength. I would say it's more focused on the main villain rather than like the henchman, which I would say Debor is. He's he's a henchman. He's just there to be like he's there just to assist, leading to like this big baddie. But he's not the big baddie himself. Like no one's shitting himself about Debor for real. He's just there. All right, all right. So I'm gonna point. I'm gonna go with that. So um, being a henchman doesn't entail you can't be stronger than the previous villain because if you try to you know stick with that. You would have to concede that Ginyu should be like stronger than um, would be stronger than Great Ape Vegeta, for example. You know, for, uh, Vegeta's not shown to be a henchman until later, and then go, you know, Ginyu's clearly a henchman. Like, yeah. My my refutation for that would just be that Vegeta, especially like after the Saiyan saga, is less of an henchman and more of like one of the main cast that we're following. 
Oh no no, I'm just saying if uh, if that's truly like you know if that's the route you want to go, then you know you would have to concede that uh, you know that point. And and even like further on that, I would say the uh, the absurdities with that, right? Yeah, I can understand where you're coming from. I just say like more so when Ginyu fights, he's not fighting by himself. It'd be like with the group as a whole. Well, I'm just and we and we don't know exactly like I'm referring to his power. Oh, okay. I'm speaking more like I think for Ginyu specifically, singling him out when he's more of the force itself, he's like a part of the group. I, I say it's like a a bit not really what I'm saying, right? I'm not I'm not saying individuals who are like built on being this group, like the Ginyu force, are, are individuals that would be like league stronger than you know the other niggas. Let alone we know like Ginyu has like a whole hacks so of snatching niggas' bodies, which he could realistically apply to stronger individuals because he did it to Goku. So I would say like it, it's definitely um it's variables in it, right? That we have to like think about. But basically, my point is just that it's not inherent for a you know further down the line character whether it's like an enemy opponent whatever has to be stronger than the last people if the narrative doesn't need them to be and i already gave like my narrative reasoning for why i don't believe gohan has to be fighting someone stronger than super perfect cell to illustrate the point that he's fell from grace so um the thing about the thing about what you said about the um you know the henchmen like uh not being stronger than like the main villains that's uh you're you're making a universal statement you know what i mean but when i say universal statement let me know because i'm a bit slow <laughs> so um there are certain types of sentences okay there's uh universal statements which uh i'll give you an example like let's say right. all men are mortal right that's a, a right. you know a universal statement um, yeah i got you a particular statement would be like i like some flavors of ice cream it's not all but some and okay. then, um, yeah, so on and so forth. And then singulars would be like, um, I like uh, red shoes or something. Just one, one thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the issue I had when you said like uh, with all henchmen, because you know that would obviously lead to like a uh, certain certain things. Obviously, that would be pretty wrong and pretty pretty uh, demonstrably proven to be the case. Well, okay, I'll rephrase that better, right? Because I understand where you get in that. I shouldn't have phrased it like that. I apologize. I mean more okay. so just that, like, it isn't always the case. Not that it, it doesn't happen. I'm not saying there isn't, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A power cliff, right, where characters just rise up and get stronger to fit the story. Look at, like, Kaba or, like, those universe saints, for example. They, you know, characters are buffed up to be able to match our characters sometimes. I'm just saying that that's not always the case. I'm saying, like, for Deborah, it would be, like, an instance where it isn't needed for him to be stronger narratively. Well, narrative isn't isn't as straightforward as it seems because you know we have all these conflicting factors, but you know that'll go on. That'll be a completely different yeah. option of itself. I, I don't want to like derail it into a red herring. I want. Yeah, I'm not trying to say like I'm a um. It's an objective thing which I'm saying. I'm giving like a subjective um, a subjective statement that I'm just mm -hmm. saying that can be equally as correct as what you're putting out. I'm trying to create like this equal interpretation, basically. Right, but um. It, it kind of sounds like to me you're trying to make a knowledge claim. Is that is that right? Mm, explain to me how I'll be doing that, just so I know. Because maybe oh no, I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking. I wouldn't say more so like of a knowledge claim, though. No. Well, you're trying to you know push this interpretation and you know have it you know stick with what you're trying to present. That's mm. what I took it to be. Okay, can you explain to me why that would be like a knowledge claim? Oh no, no like um, I was asking because like um, well, I'll, I'll phrase it this way, so. I presume that it was some sort of like knowledge claim because you know that's this is what you're trying to argue for, and mm -hmm. um, I, I basically take knowledge to be uh, justified true belief. So, mm, okay, is that is that what you mean? Is that what you're trying uh, to? Do? Not so much. So no, I'm just giving an interpretation. Oh, I see. To like it's substantiate just... um the 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 claim that I'm making in regards of cell being stronger than Deborah. All right. So um. Anything else? Uh, I, I don't think I got much. No, no, I don't got nothing else to say on that part. Like, we already both aware of, like, what Cell can do in terms of hacks. I don't mm -hmm. feel like we need to really go over it, you know? Like, I don't really think it matters that much. Yeah, not to so. say uh, if someone has the AP advantage, they naturally have the speed advantage. Because, you know, Vegeta also told Kui, if my power increases, don't you think my speed increases as well? Kind of a rhetorical question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I guess we can go to conclusions, man. Got you. You can go first. 
So I believe um, that I present when I presented my formal argument and my you know formal representation of what I what it is that I wanted to say. Um, I feel like um, you know I did hold true to what it is that I tried doing and my motivations for this debate, and uh, and the fact that my argument wasn't invalidated or rendered unsound means to show me that the argument that I had construed for this purpose served its purpose, and I do think I believe I I won this debate. Okay. Uh, my conclusion would just be that I feel like I gave a sound argument to why Deborah being stronger wouldn't be needed uh, for, you know, Gohan as a character. And I feel like I gave a really good narrative argument for that would be the case. And I feel like I substantiate the claims really well. My opponent did great. Um, but just, I feel like I definitely didn't fumble the ball too hard in this instance. I feel like I definitely backed up what I said pretty well. So that's it for uh, me. Oh, all I wanted to say was, uh, I think the word you mean is valid. Valid. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Look in general, I finished my whole thing.